Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our first video after the 2019 March Apple Media event. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is of course, iOS 12.2 was just released to the public and is available for download. But if you guys want a jailbreak, do not update to this software. There's going to be multiple things patched. Of course, the latest jailbreak utility will not support this firmware. It only supports iOS 12 to 12.1.2, and there really hasn't been anything released for iOS 12.1.3 or above. So just stay on the firmware you're at if you guys are on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 with an A12 device. Definitely stay where you're at and go ahead and bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page right here on our Best Tech Info website. That way you guys can be notified the second the jailbreak utility for iOS 12 to 12.1.2 for A12 and A12X devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros is released. Again, we will be doing full coverage on this next jailbreak utility update when it is out. So stay tuned for more jailbreak tutorial videos as well as top tweak videos and things like that. Now, I've yet to take a look at the security content release notes about this update. It has yet to be published to Apple's site. So I'm going to loop back to iOS 12.2 at the end of this video because some more incredible news happened during the Apple event. All right, so let's get out of that and go directly into Twitter. During the Apple event, right when it commenced, Pwned Own tweeted out this. How crazy would it be if someone dropped a jailbreak for Apple's newest iPhone during the Apple event? Now, unfortunately, this didn't quite happen with Cydia or anything like that. But if I go ahead and take a look at Pwn's Twitter account, Pwn actually did drop Beta 47. It is out now with the Match Swap 2 exploit for all of the devices running iOS 12 to 12.1.2 with an A7 to A12X processor. So everything in between now uses the new and updated Match Swap exploit by IB Sparks. And A12 and A12X devices now have SSH only support. So now it's possible to SSH into these latest devices like the iPhone XS Max, XS, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros. And this is available for download directly on device with the on device signing methods. And download links to this will be down below in this video's description if you guys want to check it out. Now, we're probably not going to be doing a tutorial video on how to SSH into your device as that process just is pretty risky. It's better just to wait for full Cydia support. But for those of you who know what you're doing and want to play around in SSH like Cyberduck or Putty or something like that, it is now possible on these latest devices. And again, this is brand new and I'm impressed that the on-device methods they've already updated to the latest beta being beta 47. So that is the major news that I wanted to tell you guys directly in this video. Of course, Cydia and Substrate for A12 and A12X devices is still being worked on. Pwn says, please be patient. So definitely don't bug him about this or anything like that. Full Cydia support for these devices running iOS 12 to 12.1.2 is still in the works, not to fear or anything like that. But as you guys can see, multiple users during the Apple event already tested out this new jailbreak utility. I actually went ahead and did this myself. As you guys can see, uh, we have beta 47 right there on this. And uh, I'll just go ahead and click re-jailbreak so you guys can see exactly what happens with this new utility. So there we go, we have the log right there. The jailbreak has completed and here are all the things it does. Again, the biggest thing is you guys will now be able to SSH into these devices to manually change and look at the iOS file system. Again, I definitely advise against this if you don't know what you're doing as this can definitely cause your device to be unstable and potentially not allow you to jailbreak when the final utility is out if you guys modify your system file too much. So this is just awesome that this is released now to the public. If you guys click OK, I believe it just takes you to the home screen. There we go. But awesome progress is being made for the A12 and A12X jailbreak on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. I definitely just wanted to mainly update you guys in this video, letting you guys know the latest updates. Anyway, Pwn just tweeted out something that I wanted to share with you guys. 
Uh, let's see, I guess he removed his tweet. But Jake James basically summarizes it up here. He links to the 12.2 security contents release notes. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in Safari. Now this was just released by Apple as of recording this video. I was hoping they were going to do this before I finished up and thank God they did. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the security content release notes so we can take a look at what 12.2 patches. So this one's a big one too. A local user may be able to read kernel memory. That was a big one that's patched. Here we go, here are the kernel exploits. There's one, two, three, four, five, five kernel exploits that were patched. And again, all of these are super impactful. I guess a couple of them are released by Google Project Zero members. So we might get a write up on some of those. It's really hard to tell this early in the game. I guess only one of them was released by a Google Project Zero member. So definitely do not update to iOS 12.1.2. There were five kernel level vulnerabilities patched in this update, there was more in 12.1.4 as well as 12.1.3. So it's definitely, it's going to be a long time before we receive another jailbreak for iOS 12. We might actually see iOS 13 be released before we see another iOS 12 jailbreak. So I'm sorry for you guys who missed out and had to update to one of the latest versions of iOS, but if you guys are in that boat, definitely do not keep updating. Just stay on the firmware that you're at. Stay on the lowest possible version of iOS 12 that you guys can. And again, if you guys wanna test out iOS 12.2 features, I would highly advise against that as you could no longer downgrade to iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Not only are the public firmwares no longer signed, all of the beta firmwares are also no longer being signed as well, which makes it impossible to downgrade even with blobs. So just stay on the firmware you're at if you guys are on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 with an A12 device. Definitely stay where you're at and go ahead and bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page right here on our Best Tech Info website. That way you guys can be notified the second the jailbreak utility for iOS 12 to 12.1.2 for A12 and A12X devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros is released. Again, we will be doing full coverage on this next jailbreak utility update when it is out. So stay tuned for more jailbreak tutorial videos as well as top tweak videos and things like that. Anyway, guys, that's just a summary as to what was released during this Apple event. iOS 12.2 was released by Apple and a major update to the Uncovered Jailbreak Utility for A12 and A12X users was also released by Pwned. So just a major day in the world of Apple and jailbreaking. Very lastly, as you guys probably saw at the beginning of this video, iOS 12.2 provides support for Apple News Plus. It adds the ability for Surrey to play videos from your iOS device to the Apple TV and includes four new Animojis. And these new Animojis, as well as the settings app redesign, can actually be downloaded and installed via a tweak on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. And we actually have a video explaining exactly what tweaks are needed to do that. And I'll link it down below or in your cards now. Anyway, guys, Definitely do not update to this if you guys want a jailbreak in the near future. You can get some of the main new features on iOS 12.2 on your iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. Anyway, very lastly on an afterthought, we'll have to wait and see next week when the AirPods come in if they require iOS 12.2 to fully function with Hey Siri and things like that. If you guys recall on the new AirPods page, it says it requires iOS 12.2. Now it's unclear at the time if this is going to require 12.2 to even pair to advice, or if it's just going to require 12.2 for some of the new features like Hey Siri. Anyway guys, I'll be sure to do a video on that when I get my new AirPods in and let you guys know exactly what is up with those because I know a lot of jailbreak users are going to want to get the new AirPods. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. But until next time guys, this is Tony signing out.